year into the pandemic, a simple solution remains one of our best weapons against COVID-19. The CDC says that wearing a mask can help slow the spread of the virus. But how can you be sure yours offers the best protection? WCCO's Jennifer Merrily shares a simple test from Minnesota scientists in search of the perfect fit. They were running short of masks. When the pandemic hit, Neil Carlson answered the call from the state's critical care supplies work group. They said, hey, uh, do these work at all? And so they would give me two to three of each one and I would run it through a test. The public health specialists in the U of M's environmental health and safety department used a machine to test respirators and surgical and cloth masks by himself because of COVID concerns. Hundreds to check to ensure they passed his test before the state bought and distributed them to the front lines. The fit is really important because if you have any space or gap in the mask, it essentially negates everything you're doing with the filtration. This measures the particles outside and particles inside. Some of them fit very well. Other ones were just really poor. They didn't do the the critical work. That work has slowed as a state found trustworthy suppliers. This is kind of on the nose, so I go right up and right, okay. up, right about there. Yeah. And Carlson shifted his focus to graduate students and to help Allison Cloed and Minji Yu formulate a superior facial fit. Well, what we're kind of investigating is if adjustability is a factor that can improve mask fits and efficiency. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Fair right around the edge. That's where we're probably getting a little bit of leakage. The focus is on healthcare workers looking at fit factor data and their facial dimensions. My specialty is in the face scanning. To see how cheekbones, nose, and chin structure impact the fit of the mask throughout the day. And to one day give manufacturers data to develop a size system. So we're just hoping to really research how to stabilize fit and guarantee. Um, effectiveness of the respirator. There are ways to test the fit of your mask at home. One is the tissue test. You put it out about an arm's length away, blow as hard as you can. If the tissue doesn't move, it's past the test. Carlson says if you have glasses and they fog up with the mask on, it means gaps are allowing particles to flow in and out. You're not protecting the other person very well and you're not protecting yourself very well. Same applies to facial hair. Facial hair pushes the mask far enough away from the face so that it allows the small particles to come right in. And he says when you're breathing in, the mask should collapse a bit. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Carlson says an N95 mask has a fit factor of 100. The common surgical blue mask is about five. That's good, but with the new variants, putting a cloth mask over it would be even better. Doubling up can bring that fit factor from five to 20. Carlson says any mask is better than no mask.